What's up everybody? Welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. And welcome to another weekend wash. So today we are going to clean our vehicle because in Richmond, Virginia, right now it is pollen season. We're going to clean up our disgusting car and uh, show you our process on how we do that and how to clean your car safely when you're in an area that has heavy pollen. So guys, pollen season is in full force right now and we actually just had a storm last night which washed a lot of the pollen away, which was great. You'll see some footage of the vehicle before the rainstorm and it was pretty gross. The pollen is heavy. We have these little, I, we call them chain link seedlings, and they basically will attach to each other and make these large bundles of seedlings, and uh, it just creates a mess. So it'll get onto the car and just get stuck in all the crevices and hard to reach areas. And of course, our road is kind of muddy right now. So we're going to clean the wheels and the tires and the wheel wells, get that area all cleaned up and mud free. So let's get on to the washing process and we'll show you uh, how the car actually looks after the rainstorm which is pretty impressive so guys we may have to work fast we have some storm clouds approaching it looks nice over there but looks pretty stormy so we're going to get this thing cleaned up so as you can see we had a rainstorm last night and uh, it kind of cleaned the paint off really well it cleaned the vehicle off uh, you notice even on the windshields, it cleaned off all of the pollen really, really well. Of course, lower portions are still gross. Tires, wheels, wheel wells, still really, really nasty, but at least the upper portions um, were washed off with just the rain. So guys, two weeks ago, we used Meguiar's ceramic wax and we applied it onto the vehicle and it has been two weeks. I didn't do anything to it. It's been through a ton of storms. It's been through pollen and I haven't washed it until today. So uh, of course we haven't washed it yet, but check out how it's held up. You're going to see in a moment when we uh, start to wash it, how well the, uh, the wax is actually held up. So self cleaning abilities I'd say are pretty good.
All right, guys. So today we have a special guest. We have Tony Ralda from Ralda's Details today, Hello, guys. Uh, here today. So you just noticed that we washed the car and uh, yeah, during pollen season, it is terrible. And uh, you know, you noticed the before footage before the storm and uh, it was pretty gross. Well, we had the storm and the self-cleaning abilities of the protection that we're going to talk about in a moment were pretty impressive. So just from the hard rain that we had overnight, we brought it home, pulled in the garage, it dried overnight, and then this morning, or this afternoon, is when we went ahead and washed it. So if you remember in our weekend wash about two weeks ago, so if you want to see that, click up there in the card, but we use the Meguiar's uh, hybrid ceramic wax and you know I really do like this product a lot for what it is it works great so check out the results of the rinsing before we even wash it and then you'll notice the wash process um, and it turned out amazing so really nice beading and sheeting as well and then after the wash you saw how well it reacted to the water so great product if you want to check out uh, again, that kind of how to review, then click on that card like we mentioned before and uh, check that video out. So now we're going to talk about the detailer cord snaps. Now, Tony here is the developer of these and uh, we're going to ask him a couple of questions and kind of interview him on, you know, why did he come up with these, uh, these two products or, or the product here? So Tony, just wanted to ask you a question, you know, why did you come up with this, uh, this idea for the cord snaps? Basically, uh, that came, you know, with my, myself, like every time I'm kind of waxing a car, you know, I start thinking like how I can get my, the, the, the core over my shoulder because I'm not a big dude. I don't have big shoulders. So the core always goes down, you know, for me. So it, it was kind of annoying for me. And then I start looking uh, on internet if I can find something like that, but I never find something. So I just decide, you know, and I start thinking how I can keep the, 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 the extension cord over my shoulder, you know, all the time. So, and that's how I, I start thinking on how I can do it. And then uh, I was one night at 11 something, I was almost ready to sleep. So, and then the idea came out, you know, so mm -hmm. I, I just jump on it. I just jump and I went straight to my garage and I start making them, you know, they, they are pretty simple. Uh, so as you guys can tell, it's not nothing fancy, but you know, it's, it's working for me and I hope it's going to work for others, you know? So that's the reason I came out with that. Cool. Yeah. You know, as, as mobile detailers, um, you're always worried about your equipment, you know, <laughs> exactly. maybe if you're on a street or in someone's driveway, you have extension cords, you have all this stuff all around you and you want to keep that controlled. Exactly. So you're not, you know, maybe hitting stuff against the paint and you also have to work quick as a mobile detailer, exactly. right? So, you know, we were talking about detailing your vehicle quickly when it comes to dealing with pollen. So, you know, we mentioned pollen season here and you notice we had to work really, really quick to wash our vehicle because seedlings and pollen and junk were going to already start uh, hitting the paint and sticking to it. So you got to work fast uh, when dealing with pollen season here. So um, so with working fast, you want to work efficiently. So that's really the beauty of these little guys. Now, they come in a two-pack. How come the two-pack? Because, okay, as mobile detailers, we what we normally do, uh, well, this is the way I do it. I wash the car be before, you know, I start... Uh, doing something else so like if I'm going to do the interior I'm going to start with the with the outside of the car yep. so basically you're going to have some water on the on the floor basically so what I want with those ones is keep you know the the female uh, plug for your extension cord on you on your belt that way mm -hmm. it's not going to get water and it's going to be safe, you know, because you don't want to mix water with electricity, you know, at the same time. So yep. that's why I, I came out with two packs, you know, that way you can keep one on your shoulder and the other one on you, on your belt. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it, it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, being 
exactly the same. You know, it comes in the two pack. They're exactly the same. You can leave them on your polisher and that way you never really have to take them off. It just stays right on uh, your polisher cord and then the other one stays right on your extension cord uh, if you're using an extension cord. Or you could just keep the clip on your belt and just release the Velcro. But uh, for me personally, I do keep them right on the polisher and right on the extension cord. And you know, both of us use the, the locking uh, female end extension cord, uh, kind of like the little repair kits. And they are working really, really well. I like them. <laughs> yeah, so they keep everything secured. Um, nothing is, is coming apart. Like I used to deal with that all the time. Walking around the vehicle, you know, you can have your, uh, your little detail guards on your wheels. Um, but if you're not using that for some reason and you, you forget to put those on, you know, sometimes the cord gets stuck in the tire, exactly that. unplugs. <laughs> yep, so that can be annoying. So yeah, that's, that's a really awesome product. Really innovative design. Um, and, it's, and it's very simple. There's not much to it. You know, we demonstrated how it clips right onto your shirt. If you don't have a collared shirt like this, it doesn't matter. You can also just clip it right onto the, uh, the collar of the shirt itself. Really easy. And then the other part clips right onto uh, the belt, which is really nice. So, so yeah, you can buy these cord snaps um, as a pack of two on the store. Uh, so click up there on the card and that'll go right to uh, the online store. And uh, you can also get the discount code Miranda15 and you'll get 15% off of uh, any of the items on there. Um, so definitely check that out, guys. For you mobile detailers, uh, this is something that may help you out, and it just keeps everything nice and organized. And I use it every single time I do an exterior detail because it, it just helps out so much. So, yeah. So thank you, Tony, for uh, coming up with the Welcome. with the design and, and helping us with that. It, uh, it went through a couple of changes. You probably noticed in, in some of our videos uh, we, we had those little like orange and black ones before that we were testing out, but this seems to be kind of the final design and it, it really works out well. So we have a ton in stock, so definitely check out those links and purchase those for yourself and let us know what you think about them. Exactly. Um, give us some feedback, you know, if things aren't working out, then let us know. Maybe we can tweak something, um, but if they are working out and you love them, we'd love to hear that feedback as well. Okay, so basically... One of the things that you can do with the detailer's core snaps is you can always uh, make like this. If you want to make the extension core go through the, the, the detailer's core snap, you can always make the little loop and go a little loose. Now, if you want the, this clip to stay in place, like you just measure how long do you want it, you know, like where you feel comfortable, and you can always tie this little loop very, very, very tight. Like you can always go pretty much like this and then go over that way. The, de the detailer's core snaps is gonna stay in place. So you can make it small, you can make it big loop like that. That way it's gonna go, you know, up and down. However it is, however you preference, you know, is, you know, so. All right guys, so that does it for uh, today's episode for our weekend wash. I wanna thank Tony Ralda uh, for coming and joining us and talking about the detailer cord snaps and, and showing you guys how we use those, you know, the benefits of them. And uh, yeah, definitely check those out for yourself. So. Um, we are going to also be doing some more how-to videos using the AM Detail line. Starting with these products first, and then maybe venturing out uh, into different products and show you some how-tos, uh, maybe some reviews on them as well, to show you guys how to do certain things. Uh, perhaps even starting with how to use an all-purpose cleaner, how to use a glass cleaner, how to deep clean glass, and so on. So I also want to uh, tell you guys to check out Tony Ralda's channel. I have a link down below. You guys want to see some videos in Spanish? I'm uh, also going to start making some videos in Spanish. So, para todos ustedes quienes eh, hablan español, entonces yo también voy a estar, uh, voy a empezar a hacer videos en español para ustedes quienes gusten chequearlo. 
pues ahí está en Raldas Details en YouTube. Awesome. Hey, thank you, Tony. Thank really you. appreciate having thank you here. You. Enjoyed it uh, talking to you. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Again, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week. And don't, don't miss stuff. stuff. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Have a great week.